Greetings! Welcome on board Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas. We are here for a special four-night trade event sailing. So if you're interested in all kinds of fun information, including a full and complete ship tour or a new tour of the new terminal in Galveston, Texas, be sure to check out our Allure of the Seas playlist where you can find all of that. But for today's video, I want to take you around and give you some tours of some different stateroom categories. We're going to see almost 20 different stateroom categories on board this ship and it'll be really interesting to see give you a great idea of all the different options you'll have on board now some quick notes before we get started if you've seen any of our other room tours this is not going to be as detailed as those because we are sharing the room with other travel agents other media members things like that so please forgive any people in the shots or any things laying about it does get crowded in there so we don't we're not able to get a lot of good pans or you know take our time and show all the plugs and outlets and stuff like that but it should still give you a great idea of what the rooms are like now having said that we did do a full and complete tour of our stateroom on board allure of the seas and ocean view balcony so if you want to get an idea of all the different plugs and odds and ends and little features be sure to check that out in the allure of the seas playlist now with that said let's go ahead and get it started we're going to start with an interior room and work our way all the way up to the royal loft suite and everything in between so let's go ahead and get it started our tour of the different stateroom categories on board allure of the seas begins right now all right, starting things off with room 10149. This is our lowest category, a basic interior room, and this one can accommodate two people. So let's take a look. So like most rooms, right when we enter, you'll find the bathroom space, and this is what it's gonna look like in most of the rooms here. Standard wraparound shower, door entry there, toilet, and vanity area with storage on the sides and below. We'll have our couch here, which of course this room accommodates too, so this is just a couch, not a convertible sofa bed. And then our bed space tucked up in the back there, desk, vanity, TV area across. And then closet storage will be pretty similar throughout the rooms as well. Cubbies, safe, and then hanging racks over on the other side. Next up yeah. is room 11149, a spacious interior which can accommodate six people. So rare to find a cabin that can accommodate more than four, but this would be one. And this is why, because they have this bunk space right when you enter the two beds here, even some storage on the side, privacy curtain that you can pull across and there are lights for each bed. Now across is going to be, again, just our standard bathroom setup that we're gonna see throughout the various cabins for most of them. Full length mirror right here, our standard bed space next to that. And then we do have a privacy curtain that pulls across here, separating from the couch space here. And we have our desk, vanity, TV area across from that, storage across from the bed. And because this room accommodates six, this is a sleeper sofa. Those This, this does convert to sleep two additional passengers. So room 11104 is an ocean view cabin, standard ocean view room here. This accommodates two passengers. Here we come in again, standard bathroom setup there, nothing different. And then we have our bed space here, the Royal King, which of course can be split to two twins should you prefer. Closet space again, same that we're going to see in the other rooms. And then across we have the couch there. I do not believe that's a sleeper. I think this room only accommodates two. And then you do have the desk vanity TV spot across from that. And of course what makes this room different than the interior room we already saw is the window here, the ocean view window. And this room in particular is along the front here. So you're looking out directly at the bow of the ship right to where you're headed so it's a really excellent view you do have these blackout curtains you can pull across if you would like to keep the light from coming in room 11134 this is an ultra spacious ocean view which can accommodate six passengers so again similar to that interior we saw you have the bunk space right when you come in with the curtain you have the bathroom space directly across from that and then your main bedded area royal king can split to the two twins the sofa over here does convert to a sleeper for two people but the difference, of course, between this and the spacious interior we saw is the large porthole window here looking out to the ocean. It almost looks like you have a balcony, but you do not. It's just a just a window here to look out to the ocean. And then, of course, your standard desk vanity area. And now room 11179. This is a Central Park view balcony room. So as we come in, it'll be our typical stand up or setup here with the bathroom right as you enter the room. Then your main bed space here, Royal King are split between two twins. We have the couch, sitting area, desk, vanity, 
TV, pretty standard. But then of course the difference is the balcony space and this is a Central Park balcony. So no ocean views from here. You're just going to be looking out to the Central Park neighborhood. Open air, people always ask me that. It is completely open air all the way up to the sky. So you're getting fresh air from the balcony. You can see the balconies across from you, so to keep that in mind, but you do have the curtains for privacy should you need to use those. And it is set up just like a normal balcony. You can open up the dividers there. You do have the table and chairs, but again, just the view is different. So to give you an idea, it of course will vary depending on which room you choose but you'll have this view of Central Park open air the reggae band when they're playing up on the on the pool deck and then right up to the sky and uh, we do get questions about noise with this and the boardwalk balcony that we're about to see but the doors actually do a very good job of soundproofing so you really don't have any issues there Next up is room 10295, a boardwalk view balcony. So same thing, right when we come in, standard bathroom setup, nothing too different there, right into the bed space. So I'll just stand over here to show you since this room's kind of crowded. Same exact setup pretty much we saw in the Central Park balcony, desk vanity TV, bed over there, couch here, and you do have the closet space right when you come in behind the bathroom. The only difference here, you're gonna still have that same balcony setup, same standard setup, table and chairs here. But instead of having a view of Central Park or a view of the ocean, you will have a view of the Boardwalk neighborhood. So this room happens to look right down at the carousel. You can see across to the shops and Johnny Rockets, down there to Sapor, Takaria. Oh, you can see the zip line going up above. Someone just went, I missed it. And uh, because the Lord of the Seas has not received amplification, it does not have the ultimate abyss slide. So these Boardwalk view balcony rooms actually do have an ocean view. You can see right out the back, past the aqua theater you can see the aqua theater shows when those are going on out to the ocean and that beautiful wake view so these are very popular boardwalk is a noisier area than central park but the doors still do a great job of blocking out the noise here next up room 14170 is an ocean view balcony but more specifically is an accessible ocean view balcony so you see the roll-in area here the larger stateroom that you're going to have when you open up the bathroom it's going to be roll in there as well straight into the shower the handle the bench the emergency cord all those things that separated for the accessible room providing for those needs there in your bed space you're going to have the lower bed and same nightstands on either side now this one you're going to have this chair here relaxing chair with the pullman bunk bed up top coming down from the ceiling should you need that for additional passengers then you're going to have your standard desk vanity tv space with the closet next to it and then your balcony which is going to have the rollover and then the ramp outside now beyond that it is pretty much a standard ocean view balcony good size got the table and chairs and the great view out to sea now once again we are staying in a standard ocean view balcony room during the sailing so we have a full video of that in our lure of the seas playlist and now we have room 11162. This is an ultra spacious ocean view balcony, so this room can accommodate six. It'll be similar to that spacious interior and the ultra spacious ocean view that we saw earlier with the bunks right when you come in. Of course, bathroom space right across. And then you're going to have your main bed, Royal King, split to two twins. And then you have your couch over here, which can accommodate two as a sleeper. That's how you're going to get six in this room. Guest vanity TV area across, closet next to that over there. And then the big difference, of course, is you're going to have that ocean view balcony here. Very large balcony space because you're accommodating so many people. Still just one table with two chairs, but you do have the extended length. And that comes with this large floor to ceiling kind of porthole window here. And it's going to give you those great views up to sea. So that was all of our quote-unquote regular stateroom categories. Now we are starting the suites, and because the Lord of the Seas is an Oasis class ship, it's going to have Royal Suite class. So sea, sky, and star levels, all with their different benefits. So I'll know each room and what its tier level is, but if you're interested in those different benefits and what they are, be sure to check out the link in the description of the video. Room 8630 is a junior suite, and this is a C-class room. All right, so this is going to be very similar to an Ocean View balcony room, just a lot larger and a couple different features. So right when we come in, we find our bathroom space, but you see it is different. You have that upgraded vanity as well as the upgraded bathroom amenities, and this is also going to come with a tub-shower combo, as you can see there. So definitely upgraded to the uh, regular stateroom bathrooms. And across from the bathroom is going to be the next upgrade, which is going to be a full 
full walk-in closet. So you can completely walk into the space here. You have tons and tons of shelves, hanging hooks, hanging racks, lots of space, and your Royal Caribbean robes since you are in a suite. Now the rest of the room is very similar to Ocean View Balcony, it's like I said, just a lot larger. So you have your bed space here, couch there with a sitting chair and a coffee table though, and your desk vanity area is going to be a little bit upgraded there. You're going to have the Lavaza machine right there, bottled water, different kind of amenities like that. And then you're going to have that little, kind of little table there, little nook with the uh, vase on it. So lots and lots of space as you can see here, much bigger than a standard stateroom and that's going to also extend out to the balcony. So you have your table and chairs there like we've seen in the other rooms, but you're also going to get the two lounge chairs with the ottomans that do recline, and as a, you can see, a much bigger balcony space here. Our next room, 10254, is the one bedroom grand suite, which is a sky class level stateroom. So right when we enter, we'll have the much larger bathroom space. You can see this is a lot bigger than the junior suite, and of course the Standard state rooms gonna have the dual vanity sink there, huge soaking tub right there, and it is of course a tub shower combo with the upgraded amenities. Now you do have this curtain that pulls across and separates the bed area from the living room area. You do have your huge vanity space over here, lots of storage and plugs, nightstands built in on either side. And like here, you have the big window corner, looking the out thing. to the balcony, and I believe it's a is it a door on either side? No, this is just windows, so the door is only on the other side. You have your large TV mounted here, centrally located, with a little stand below. And then that's your door actually out to the balcony over here. So you're going to have those upgraded chairs with your table, upgraded lounge chairs, and ottomans over there. And here in the living space, you have your table and chairs on either side. Big, long couch that does convert to a bed there big coffee table in the middle. You do have your wet bar space right when you come in. Plaza awesome machine, all the accoutrement, ice buckets, glasses, all that stuff over on the other side. Lots and lots of storage in here as well in a big, big closet space. Not a walk-in, but it's a huge space nonetheless. Oh, and I forgot to mention the one bedroom grand suite accommodates four. Now room 10244 is gonna be very similar because this is the two bedroom grand suite, which accommodates eight. This is also a sky class level room. Just off the entryway here, we will have the first bathroom, which has the nice glass door, kind of upgraded from the uh, regular state rooms, even though it's a very similar layout in this bathroom with the vanity and toilet. And then across from that on the other side of the entryway, we'll enter a bedroom. So you have a closet space here, nice long vanity area nice chair there tv mounted here and then back across on the other side we will see they have the beds currently split into the two twins but you could combine those into one royal king and then you're going to have a twin pullman on either side that comes down from the wall so this is what it looks like when it's put up and then the other side when it's down so this is the first bedroom and directly across from that is the second bedroom which is probably what you would consider the master bedroom so you're going to have a bigger vanity space here really nice nightstands built-in lights along the wall that is currently put together as the royal king you have a TV in this room as well, mounted on the wall across there. Some closet space behind the door for the entryway. And then your entrance here, step up, be careful, into the master bathroom. It's going to have the upgraded vanity once again, toilet, and huge soaking tub there with the shower combo, of course. Now you can enter onto the balcony from the main living room area, or you can do it here off of the master bedroom. And now we'll enter the main living space. So we have the large two comfy chairs there, big coffee table, and the huge couch that you can see here, which converts to a sleeper because we have the four beds in the one bedroom, the one that can split into two in the other, and then this is also a sleeper. That's how you get to eight. And then back over here, we have the large TV mounted. You have your like vanity space, like wet bar kind of area there, and then uh, additional closet storage space, cabinet storage space there. Of course, you're gonna have uh, excuse me, curtains that extend all the way across whenever you have the windows to block those out if you prefer. You can have this big window space here looking out to the balcony and the ocean, and then your actual door space there. So this is a huge balcony, and it's gonna come with the table and chairs for four. You can see the upgraded set there. And then over here on the other side, you're gonna have those full-size lounge chairs, those chase lounges right there. And you can get an idea of how large that balcony space is. It just keeps going and going. And of course, 
uninhibited views. Room 14330 is a one bedroom spacious aqua theater suite and it is sky class suite. Got the doorbell right there as you come in. So let's enter in here. So here in the living space we have our mounted TV, wet bar area, storage down below. And then across from that we will find our coffee table, sitting chair, and couch. We'll also access the balcony from here in the living space. So let's do that now. Let's step out. We do have a little bit of a sitting area over here to the side. And then a small one over on this side as well. From this point you get the view, a little bit of a view of the aqua theater. It's kind of blocked honestly because of the larger rooms down below. We'll see some of those in just a few minutes, but you are getting that fantastic weight view, aft view, and you can also see a bit out to the side. That's why I like the Aqua Theater Suites. I'll be pointing that out as we see the other ones to give you a better idea in the bigger rooms. And then off the living room area, we enter into the one bedroom. See the bed space here? Beautiful panoramic floor to ceiling windows. Look at that, right out to the ocean there. You do have your desk, vanity, TV area across, closet space right when you come in. And then you're gonna have your bathroom space oh, right off of that because it's set up like a master. So you're gonna have that kind of floating vanity effect there. And then your deep soaking tub, which also has a shower capability. Towels there. And toilet tucked behind. Also have a floor to ceiling window here and then a door out to the additional balcony space. So it's basically two balconies in this room. So this part here is where you're going to find your table and chairs. And this just looks out to either port or starboard, depending on what side of the ship you are on. You really will not be able to see the aqua theater or anything from this part of the balcony, but you still get a bit of the wake view. Room 10330, this is our very first star classroom. This is a two bedroom aqua theater suite. So nice little entryway right when we come in. Ignore the bottle of water there. A nice vase and a full length mirror as we come across. And we also have the entry to a bathroom right here, right off the entryway. So it's gonna be very similar to the uh, regular staterooms. We're gonna have a hallway to our main living area and it's gonna split off into the two bedrooms. So we're gonna have the master bedroom over here, now set up as the Royal King with the two nightstands on either side and our desk vanity TV space across from that. You also have a door that you can use to go out to the balcony. We'll get to that in just a little bit. Now on the other side of the room, we will find our closet space there. Do have a nice porthole window, also looking out to the balcony and out to sea there. And then you're gonna have your entrance into the master bathroom with the vanity space toilet and the soaking tub shower combo. As you exit the master, you'll have lots of closet space here. Then we can turn in the hall and go into the second bedroom. So very similar setup. We're going to have the desk, vanity, TV area, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to say these same terms over and over again because that's just how it is with these rooms. Have our beds down below. Again, row king, or you can split to the two twins. And then you have the Pullman beds up above. They have both of these up, but of course they do just flip down. And you have that bed space available to you. Back in the hallway now, we're gonna enter our main living space. We have our dining table with four chairs there. We have our couch, sitting chair over there, closet space, and then our large mounted TV with the sound bar, lavaza machine over there, wet bar area, lots of storage down below. You also have some storage space over here on the side as well. And then we'll find the door out to the balcony space. So right there is the doorway back into the master that I pointed out earlier come across over here and you're going to find this large seating area, a couple tables and chairs here, and then that porthole window that we saw from the master bedroom. Of course, great thing about the Aqua Theater Suites, again, views all the way around here on the side and to the back with a beautiful wake view that we can see right now. And you're going to have your dining set over here. Should be uh, eight chairs, typically. I think they move some around. But you got your full table there, your two chase loungers right here at the end of the balcony, and then you're going to have the uh, bar rail seating there with the chairs. You can sit right there with your little bar rail table and look straight out to the boardwalk, the rock climbing walls, and right down into the Aqua Theater. This is why it's called Aqua Theater Suite. You're going to have those basically front row views all to yourself from your balcony of the Aqua Theater shows. Take those in. They are excellent. You'll see all the action from here. The divers will be right in front of you, and you're going to see port, starboard, either side, and then again back out to the back. And in case I didn't mention it, the two bedroom aqua theater suite sleeps eight. All right, now we have our largest aqua theater suite yet. This is room 8730. This is also a two bedroom aqua theater suite, but this is the spacious variety, category A1, and this is also star class. So huge entryway right when we come in. 
and then we'll turn and find our first bathroom. Again, very similar to the standard stateroom bathrooms because you're gonna have the glass doors there. Full length mirror right off of that. And then we'll proceed in. We'll turn left here and we'll go into one of our bedrooms here. Again, standard bed setup across from that. Lots and lots of storage space, TV mounted to the wall, and you are gonna have your closet space over here opposite of that. Now, if we turn, we'll find the vanity space kind of tucked up in its own nook here. Very, very nice. And we'll find a door into a bathroom because it's a master that we're in right now. So we have our vanity area, toilet, big soaking tub once again. So we're starting to see a pretty common theme here with how these are laid out. And off of this master bedroom area, there is a door out to the balcony. I wanna kinda of show, it's kinda of split off here. So you have this space, which is kind of about the size of a normal stateroom balcony. Just this little wall, but you can go around it and get to this space where they have the chairs and then it keeps going around. We'll see that space in just a little bit. But I wanted to point out that is one of the benefits of an aqua theater suite again, is that you have the wraparound balcony so you can see out to the side where starboard right now, or when you go to the back of the balcony, you can see aft to the aqua theater and the wake view. Across the hall from the master, we'll enter into the other bedroom. Again, a very similar layout here, TV mounted, vanity space. And then you have your beds here in the middle set up as the Royal King, or you can split to two twins. And then you have your two Pullman beds up above, this one in the down position, this one in the up position. So now we'll have this hallway space here into the main living area. So you have your couch with your windows looking out to the large balcony there. Main couch area here. And then the two chairs, have your large wet bar area, TV, desk, vanity space over there with the lavaza machine and this drinks and stuff stored one. like that. Then you have your dining table and chairs the over there, the wet bar in the back yeah. there. And now we'll head back out to the balcony to the main area. So you do also have this set of doors right kind of by that uh, dining table you could also come out of. And of course this wraps back around to where we were earlier off of the master bedroom. Then we'll spin back around here and you're gonna have this full outdoor dining set once again table for eight you're also going to have the two chase loungers look how large this balcony is extends all the way out to there you're going to have that bar rail seating so you can sit right here at the bar enjoy your drinks enjoy your food enjoy that excellent view of the aqua theater and the aqua theater shows you're also going to have a couple of chairs tucked up in the corner down i got the excellent view of the rock climbing walls and the boardwalk as well looking out to the ocean so from these rooms you can see kind of out to both sides of the ship and aft view as well with that beautiful wake coming off behind you here. Look at this, come all the way out. Because this is the A1, this is the largest category of the Aqua Theater Suites. So you can see, when I turn back around, that we are sticking out further than any of the other balconies in this one. So this is the highest level, it is the highest price. Again, you can see it across there, rock climbing wall. This is where we're at, the A1 right there. And then you get to those other Aqua Theater Suites up above. But you get the largest balcony here and the best views without a doubt. Room 14244 is a owner suite, one bedroom owner suite. It's all that's available on this ship. This is a sky class room that sleeps four. Different It's so different. It's so crazy. And here, see, we have the nice living space with the comfy chair and the ottoman attached. Large big couch across there. You have the two chairs over there as well. Dining table and chairs over there with the wet bar area and all the closet storage. You have your TV mounted here in the center. And kind of like the Grand Suite, you do have the curtains that pull across to give you a little bit of separation, though it is still open up there. So let's go ahead and head into the actual bedroom space here. Pretty similar setup in the bedroom area that we've seen in other rooms. Again, TV mounted across here and that large desk vanity space across now you can go out here excuse me you cannot go out here to the balcony from the bedroom it is just the windows looking out you have your table and chairs there for four so you want to access the balcony you do that from the living room space here and you do have your two chase loungers over here and again another set of big windows over there so the only door is in the center but you can get an idea of how large this balcony is quite big and right when you come in you do have the bathroom space and you can see this is a little bit more upgraded in other rooms because you have the bidet next to the toilet 
A little bit smaller of a shower space there, but it is still a glass door. Upgraded tile work throughout, and now you're gonna have the jetted jacuzzi soaking tub, movable wand, upgraded amenities. Really nice experience here in the owner's suite. So not the biggest room, but you get really, really high-end furnishings, amenities, and things like that in the space. Room 1720 is actually a star loft suite. The placard on the sign on the door here is a little bit incorrect. So it says sky, but it actually is star. So you will have star level amenities in this room. So check it out. Huge living space right when we come in, comfy chair, big sectional couch. You have your dining table back there, wet bar area with the lavaz machine in the back. And of course it is a loft. So it is open to the second floor there. So this is 722 square feet of living space. Your balcony is 410 square feet. You have two full bathrooms. The downstairs bathroom is a mirror image to the one upstairs. The average cost is 5,300 per person for guests one and two, up to 6,800 for guests one and two based on the season. So you do have some closet space yeah. down below here. And you're more than welcome to go and then to, um, the this I think is just a connecting door. Um, you do have a light switch here to control the lights and the yeah. curtains and things like that. And then this is a bathroom downstairs. So you have the vanity here, toilet, and then the huge walk-in shower area with the two shower heads. So this is double person shower located in there. There is a door here to go out to the balcony. Doors over there as well behind the curtains. And you can see here it's going to look out. This one happens to look out the back. You can also get them on either side of the ship here. So you have the two comfy chairs, ottoman, and then table and chairs over there as well. And then large, large lounge chairs right there. And now we'll head upstairs really quick. You see you'll have your closet right here at the landing area of the upper deck with the robes. Turn, and again, we're open air, back down to the floor below. Desk vanity area right here. Curtains you can pull across. Then you have your standard bed set up here. And then this door right off of the bed space is a bathroom that is a mirror image to the one down below. Last thing, you do have floor to ceiling windows off of the bedroom space here, so you can see out as well. Now room 1754 is a crown loft suite, which is a sky class level room. It sleeps four. Unfortunately, we did not have time to film this room, but the good news is we stayed in this exact type of stateroom on Oasis of the Seas. It should be virtually the exact same thing, and we did a full tour of that room. So be sure to check out our Oasis of the Seas playlist if you want to see a full tour of a crown loft suite. Once again, our sign is a little bit incorrect here, 1758. This is the Grand Panoramic Suite Star Class Level Room that sleeps for. Right, when we come in, we have this huge dining table area, big, large bench seating there, chairs on the other side. You do have a uh, wet bar space across here, a little bit of storage down below there. And that goes right into your living space. Big, big, big sectional couch here comfy sitting chair, tables, all the uh, accessories, ottomans, stuff like that. Large TV, sound bar, and storage there. And then right out to your balcony space here with the two chase lounges. And then the best part, you have your own jacuzzi tub out on your balcony. So soak it in the hot tub. You don't have to worry about crowds. You just take it in those beautiful views with your own private area. This door does close here to separate off the bedroom space, which we're entering now. So you have the nice uh, higher end nightstands here, lamps on the sides. And look at this, this is completely open to the bath space there. How about that? You do have a couple of lounge chairs on either side here, TV mounted, those big panoramic, that's why it's called that, floor to ceiling windows there. Of course, you have the curtains you can pull across. You can access the bathroom space from either side of the bed here. Just have the steps up. And that'll take you right in. You do have the big walk-in shower glass here, which is nice, so you can still enjoy those views. Huge, huge, huge soaking tub here. Again, completely open to the bed space and to the ocean. So getting the views either way. Split vanity design here. So one on either side. And you do have the little makeup area over there. Lots and lots of storage. You can see all the handles there, all the closet space, all those different drawers and cabinets and things like that. Toilet room here with bidet on this side of course you're gonna have the upgraded bath amenities and the suites here and then closets with the robes on this side and then off the main living area here we do have a second bathroom there is a closet here with robes as well and a little makeup vanity area 
open up the door here and we do have the walk-in shower here very nice space and next to that the toilet and the vanity space there we saved the biggest and the best for the last the royal loft suite so a huge entryway right when we come in oh i like the uh painted mural there got the baby grand piano right there on the other side yes an actual piano in your stateroom when you get the royal loft suite that's how they roll have this huge living space here tv mounted with the sound bar big sectional couch comfy chairs ottomans and a nice little bench seat over there as well huge panoramic floor to ceiling windows all the way around here nice large dining table and accommodate eight even though this room only sleeps six you have your wet bar space tucked underneath the stairs there so of course it's still a loft so it's open air to the deck below but you do have the upstairs here nice glass desk there with rolling chair comfy little bench seating here and then you have your main bed space here and you have a tv area that it's actually a projector so the screen comes down there and you have the actual projector itself built into the wall there curtains do come across should you want to block it out and not have that view although i don't know why you wouldn't because it's pretty great you also have curtains here that you can pull across as well just for a little bit more privacy entering here into the closet bathroom vanity area so it's going to be huge extended vanity space look at all this storage tons and tons of cabinets lots of hanging space here and on the other side as well of course your robes being in the suite and then we enter the master bathroom area here dual vanity sinks big 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 jacuzzi soaking tub here very nice toilet and bidet over on this side and then this is just it's hard to even call it a walk-in shower it's just a shower area there's not even a door or anything like that dual shower space there you do have the frosted glass for privacy but it's clear glass up above so that you can see out to the ocean and now let's head out to the balcony space here on the main level again big dining table and chairs here you also have a bar area set up because you're going to have the royal genie with these star class suites so they can come and serve you meals here on your balcony private in-room dining here on the balcony inside the room at the main dining table wherever you like balcony wraps on around here to these chairs and ottomans big comfy day bed and your own private jacuzzi hot tub out here on your balcony so for this particular room you're gonna have the views out to the starboard side out to the ocean you're also going to have the views out to the back so you're going to be right above the basketball court you're going to have views across to the zip line going across the boardwalk mini golf you can see both flow riders from here and then out to the back the wake view you can even see a little bit across to the port side as well and then right here off the main living area right in the entryway we can turn and find the downstairs bedroom area so you see all that closet space there tv mounted across a little desk vanity area and then the bed space it does have a door here to go out to the balcony we'll get to that in just a little bit now across from the actual bedroom door you will have the closet with the robes umbrellas up there as well and then entrance to the downstairs bathroom nice big walk-in shower there it even has a window and toilet and sink vanity area of course so we have our large entryway right when we come in we have the living space here big dining table chairs bench seating nice wet bar area across from that then our main living room area here got the mounted tv big sectional couch comfy chair and ottoman you can also access the balcony here with your own private jacuzzi tub and your two chase loungers big panoramic floor to ceiling windows in here you can also go through the door closes here but this closes off to the bedroom space so we have the bed here Lounges on other side, either side, excuse me, TV mounted across again, big windows so you can look out. You're going to have your nightstands on either side and then open to the bathroom space. We see the big soaking tub behind us there. You can enter from the bathroom from either side. Got the vanity here. Split sinks with bench seating in the middle across from the big tub. And then next to that, we have the walk-in glass shower there. We'll turn through the door, find the toilet room and the bidet. And we have a closet over on this side as well. 
Well, there you have it, friends. That is our tour of the different stateroom categories on board Royal Caribbean's Alert of the Seas. We hope you enjoyed it, found it informational, and if you saw a stateroom that you'd like to stay in, we would like to help make that happen. As travel agents, it would be our pleasure. Our services are completely free to you. We charge no fees or costs whatsoever, and you won't pay a cent more to book with us than you would direct on your own. So feel free to reach out via the travel agent information. You can find it in the description of this video. If you've recently booked a Royal Caribbean cruise within the past 30 days and you're not paid in full, you can transfer the booking to our agency. That's also free of charge, and we'll be able to assist you the rest of the way. So we hope we'll hear from you soon. Again, if you're interested in more content from Allure of the Seas, be sure to check out our full Allure of the Seas playlist with that full ship tour, our room tour, the room tours you just saw, daily videos, and the tour of the brand new terminal in Galveston, Texas. All of that will be located there. Thank you for joining us for today's video. Signing off. See you next time. Happy travels.